if the company is buying back its shares. The reason why this is important is because if a company buys back its shares, it increases your ownership in the company, you don't have to pay taxes on it, and it also increases the earnings. Let's look at an example. Let's say a company only has 10 shares on the market and you own one of those shares. You own 10% of the company, one divided by 10. Let's say the company ended up deciding buying five of those shares and retiring them. Now there are only five shares left. You still own one share in the company, but now your 10% of ownership just increased to 20%. One divided by five, 20%. And here's the interesting thing, because even though your ownership went from 10 to 20%, you did not have to do anything for it. And also, you didn't have to pay any taxes on your increase in ownership. However, if you sold your shares or even if you got dividends, then you will have to pay taxes. And then also the third benefit is that if a company buys back its shares, that also means that the earnings per share more than likely is going to increase. So for example, if a company generates a million in net income and has a million shares outstanding, the earnings per share is $1. 1 million in net income divided by 1 million shares outstanding is $1. But if the company decides to buy back 500,000 shares and there's only 500,000 left, now the earnings per share just increased to $2. Because now you have a million in net income divided by 500,000 shares is $2 in earnings per share. And any company that is able to increase its earnings per share more than likely is also going to see an increase in the price of the stock itself. Because a company that's able to increase its earnings is also a company that's worth more.